Now to Native American artifacts linked to Santa Barbara County's history dating back thousands of years. Tonight they are secure with tribal protection. And News Channel reporter John Palminteri joins us live with that. John, items from the six-month project are rarely seen. The Museum of Natural History here in Mission Canyon has been preserving these artifacts for years, but the process of transferring them securely has just been completed, and they have been working very closely on the handoff with the Sanitas Band of Chumash Indians. And in our view, everything's gone home where it should be. Chumash remains and other artifacts preserved for years deep in the Museum of Natural History in Santa Barbara are not on display and have now been returned. It became possible last year with the passage of a federal law which required the museum to report its holdings and work with tribal leaders. Federally recognized tribes that had a cultural affiliation with those holdings could request their repatriation or return. That's exactly what happened. The museum has a long-standing and respectful relationship with the tribe and also has a Chumash Hall with multiple exhibits of approved items and displays. The rare ones, protected with special care, were transferred in a collaborative way. This was a very specific project, and between the museum staff and the Chumash tribe, there were 37,000 unique artifacts that were transferred. The museum has always had exceptionally good relations with all of the Chumash bands. We have a Native American Advisory Council. The chairman of the San Ynez Band of Chumash Indians, Kenneth Kahn, said in a statement, these items have come home to our tribe and it allows us to do the important work of repatriation and reburial. We continue to have a close working relationship with the Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History and consider it to be a collaborative partner in the community. Exploring for artifacts by associates of the museum discontinued over 50 years ago. We stopped active field excavations in the 70s mm -hmm. because cultural sensitivities changed and that just wasn't what we wanted to be doing anymore. Since then, the museum has made it a priority to preserve the skeletal bones and other items that were buried. And with the remaining collections authorized for the public to learn from, there is a commitment to the tribe and the community. It's about handling ourselves with the highest professional integrity in how we cared for this really solemn, indeed, this kind of sacred cultural heritage. I'm delighted that it's all gone back home where it belongs. We did the right thing here. And this was a federal law for federally recognized tribes. We understand California has a similar law that just went through and there may be other tribes as well that believe that some of their artifacts are in museums throughout the state of California and possibly here. And if so, they will work with this museum as the San Inez Band of Chumash Indians did to get these artifacts back to their tribal leaders. Reporting live in Mission Canyon outside of the Museum of Natural History, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmenteri. All right, really fascinating overall. Thank you so much for bringing that to us, John. Still ahead on your News Channel Live.